everyone. In this video, I wanted to go over how I studied for the AP German test and what I did to prepare for it because I know it's the time of year where a lot of you guys are starting to study for your AP exams in depth or if you're self-studying, you're like really starting to go hard on it because that was me almost exactly a year ago. So AP German is a difficult test to self-study for, especially if you don't already have a really good grasp of German and I think that it's so difficult not only because it's a language but because there's really not a lot of resources online for AP German. There's a lot of stuff for AP Spanish and French but I really did not find a lot for AP German when I was taking the test. So if you didn't see my video from last year about AP German, it was kind of like a vlog self-study type of video. I will have that linked below and also you can just find it on my channel. So I self-studied AP German last year because I took German 1, 2, and 3 at my school and then I took German 4 online, but my school didn't offer AP German as a class. I don't really know why, they just decided I guess there wasn't enough people for it. So because I really enjoy German and I really wanted to see if I could get some college credit for it, I decided to take the AP German test and just self-study for it. Okay, so before we actually get into the tools and what I did to study, I wanted to talk about the layout of the AP German test because it's really important to know this, especially if you're self-studying and you don't have a teacher to go over it for you. So there are six units or themes that the AP German test focuses on. If you're in a German class, you might be taught according to these themes as units, but if you're self-studying, you might not really know a lot about them. So the six themes are, I'm going to have to read them off my computer because I cannot remember them. Um, Family and Gemeinschaft, that's the first one. Persönliche und Offensliche Identität, second. Alltag, third. Globalisierung, fourth. Schönheit und Ästhetik, fifth. And Wissenschaft und Technologie. I'm always bad at saying that one. So those are the six units and every single question on the, six, on the AP German exam will relate to those three topics. They will have something to do with those topics. As for the actual layout of the test itself, there are two sections of multiple choice. We will be given these first and one is based on listening and the other is based on reading. So you will read something, answer questions, or listen to something and answer questions. The next section is free response and there will be two written tasks. One is usually like a letter and then another one is usually an email or the other one and the other one is usually some type of essay, usually an argumentative essay. For these tasks you have to read and reply based on the email and letter and then for the essay you have to read three different sources come up with your argument and then defend your argument using those three sources in the essay. For the last section, this is the listening and speaking section. So for this, you'll have two tasks. The first task is to have a conversation with a recording and the second task is like a presentation. So the presentation is usually going to be something about German culture. They will give you a prompt about German culture and you can compare this aspect of German culture to you, your own culture. So you definitely need to make sure that as well as knowing the language, you also know the culture. Now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, let's get into the actual resources and tools that I used to self-study German. First, we're going to talk about websites. So the websites that I used were AP Classroom, Fiveable, and Simple Studies. The most helpful website for me was the actual AP Classroom page for AP German. Thankfully, because of the pandemic, the College Board decided to create and upload AP German videos, so I had access to really good videos that came directly from the College Board. If you use any resource from this video, please use the AP Classroom videos. They can be found on AP Classroom if you sign in the College Board, and they can also be found on the College Board YouTube channel under the German playlist. The videos go in depth into certain skills like writing an essay and they teach you exactly how you should write an essay on the exam. It's kind of like a cheat sheet except you know you actually do have to memorize and study. The next website that I used was Fiveable. 
Fiveable is a really great website that helps you with any AP subject, so if you're in other subjects, feel free to definitely check those out as well. But obviously, I'm going to be talking about German in this video. I mostly use Fiveable to study culture. They have really great and also very simple and straightforward study guides that go over all the cultural topics in Austria, Germany, and Switzerland, because this exam will have elements of all of those three countries. Um, as for language and grammar, Fiveable isn't really the best. They are not a language learning platform. The last website that I used was called Simple Studies. And Simple Studies is also very good for culture, especially because it covers other topics that Fiveable doesn't cover. Simple Studies only has one study guide, while Fiveable has their split into chapters. But Simple Studies also includes common vocab for each unit and is written almost entirely in German, which is super helpful. The second resource that I used was textbooks. So as I mentioned, my school didn't have German. If your school does have German, definitely use those textbooks and resources from your teacher. But if you don't, here are the two I used. They are actually from a neighboring high school in my area, so I just kind of stole their books and used them. But they were Deutsch Prüfungstraining, AP German and Language, AP German Language and Culture, sorry, and then the next one was just a grammar book. The first one, Deutsch Prüfungstraining, is audio-based, so it comes with a CD, and you can listen to the CD, and then basically it'll give you like a mock exam, which you can kind of see my in my German vlog that I made last year. And this is really helpful for getting used to hearing German and then writing and answering questions from the audio. The second book is just grammar exercises, and I honestly didn't use this book as much as I would have liked to. So if you can't get the second grammar book or any German grammar book, I would not worry about that at all. And I would mostly focus on the first one if you can get it. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon, so I will try to leave a link below. The last main thing that I did in order to prepare myself for the exam was to immerse myself in outside media. So this would be any media that's from Germany, Austria, or Switzerland, anything that I could listen to or watch or even read that was in German, but like popular in other countries. So I listened to a lot of German music. Um, I actually made a German playlist that I will link below and I listened to that every day. I basically like learned all the words to it and I would like sometimes sit there and like try to translate it as they would sing, which was super helpful for my comprehension. I also watched daily news clips on the website Tagesschau. I'll also link that below. Um, it's actually called, I think their news clips are Tagesschau in 100 Sekunden, which is like news and daily news in 100 seconds basically. And I would write like a little summary of what the news of that day was on in my notebook. I also watched German YouTubers because I like watching vlogs and stuff like that. So I would watch mostly study vlogs. You can literally just look up like any German university and vlog and you will find so many really great YouTubers. I'll link some of my favorites again in the description. And that was really good for vocab and also like some aspects of culture. Sometimes they would show what they were doing or like talk about stuff that they were doing. But it was, it was mostly very good for vocab and also comprehension because these are native speakers. Obviously they speak German, they might not even speak anything else. So they're definitely going to speak with the ease and speed of a native speaker, which was very challenging at first for me because I was used to slower German content, you know, from an educational standpoint. But watching these vloggers who were literally just living their lives in German was very helpful because it made me like have to learn how to keep up with that. The last thing I did, which still kind of relates to outside media, is one of my favorite shows is actually in German and is a German show, and it's called Druck. And if you know anything about Scam, you might have heard that before. That is a Norwegian show that was like really good and really popular in Norway, and they actually expanded it to other countries, so that's just the German version of that show. And it was really good, I really recommend it if you like watching dramas and stuff and you just want to watch it in German and have English subtitles or see if you can do it without subtitles, that was a really great show. The last thing I did that I think was really super helpful for me on the exam was I made flashcards of specific words and phrases in German that I knew I needed to use on the test. 
So I don't have them anymore because I took the test almost a year ago. But what I would do is I would write basically like the German way to sign off on an email or to sign off on a letter or to say my first point is this, like my second point is this. Um, for example, I would write all of those things, you know, that you would use to format an essay or to have a conversation, like little conversation cues and stuff. I would write them in English on one side of the flashcard and then I'd write the German saying on the other side. And I just memorized those. And honestly, I think that was such a big reason that I even got a three on the exam. Okay, so before I end this video, I just wanted to talk about my overall experience taking the exam. So I took this by myself in a empty classroom with just one instructor proctoring because it was a self-study exam. But it took almost four hours because of the like time in between reading, writing, and listening. But I think the actual amount of time it takes is like three something hours. Yeah, okay, it takes three hours, but it took I think like three and a half because of like all the times in between that they had to like set up the listening, set up everything, so, and then there's like a break in between, I think it's 15 minutes. So that's how long it took. And in terms of like what I thought was easy and hard, I think the listening and the, not the listening, the speaking was actually the easiest part for me, which I was shocked. I thought that was gonna be so hard. I was so worried about like completely failing that part. And again, I don't know how I did specifically on the listening, but in terms of like what I felt like, that felt like the easiest for me. The conversation was super simple. They were just, they asked like, oh, what do you do when you feel hungry at school? And I just like said, I keep a granola bar in my backpack and stuff. Like it was super simple and it was fine. And then I feel like the hardest part was definitely writing the essay. Of course, I think, you know, that's going to be hard regardless. Even in English, it's not easy to write an essay. So writing an essay, a full argumentative essay in German was very difficult. Um, again, I don't know how I did on that, but I think if anything was my worst, it was probably that part. Um, and then listening and, and reading was pretty simple. I feel like it was not easy, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. So that was my overall feeling of the exam. Um, let me know if you have any specific questions in the comments anything I can help you with um, I forget if I forget to put a link please let me know and I will make sure to add it to the description and I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope it's helpful for you and good luck on the German exam